at six, one mother's fight to get a controversial drug she says could be the last option for improving her son's quality of life. The trouble, it's made from industrial cannabis and she needs approval from state lawmakers to make it happen. RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines is live for us to explain. Katie. Tanya Erica, CDB oil can be used uh, either as a spray under the tongue or taken as a supplement. And I'm sorry, CBD oil is what it's called. It's not approved by the FDA, but more than a dozen states have legalized it, including nearby Kentucky. And one central Indiana mother hopes that she can take her plea to lawmakers and sway them to make it legal here in Indiana. Born at 26 and a half weeks, weighing two pounds, two ounces, John Nelson is what his parents call a miracle baby. It's a title that holds true in his mother's eyes 17 years later. But we're going to get you some help. John was born with cerebral palsy. He suffered from severe seizures since day one, seizures that have grown in frequency in the last few years. We're watching him being able to do some of the things that he could do earlier in life that he can no longer do. Shirley Nelson points to the major milestones in her son's life, his first walk, and the first time he sat up by himself. I squealed, and it scared him. He fell back, thank goodness, into the bed. And I said, how would you do that? Show me. So he did. But she says the seizures are robbing her son of his life. The family has tried several different medications, but Nelson feels stuck. His neurologists have told us that we're maxing out. We cannot, she cannot increase his medications because they're showing up in his liver as damaging. That's why she created this online petition to legalize CBD oil. She's hopeful it could offer her son relief while helping him to get off some of the medications. And she plans to take her case straight to state lawmakers later this month. It's not wanting to suffer. Um... See, I believe strongly in God, and I know if John died tomorrow, where he'd be, he'd be whole, and he wouldn't have these problems, but I kind of like to hold on to it for a while longer. And a committee of lawmakers is scheduled to review this. Also, the use and production of industrial hemp. Exactly two weeks from today, we reached out to members of that committee. The folks that we heard back from said that they aren't prepared to make a statement or take a position on this yes now yet. And that was also the case with several law enforcement agencies. We heard back from Indiana State Police. At this time, they say they are not going to comment on pending legislation. The Indiana Sheriff's Association not taking a position yet. Reporting live in the newsroom, Katie Hines. RTV6.